America? Uh, today's my sister's wedding, but I haven't seen you since morning. What in the world are you doing? Where are you right now? Oh, hi, Silvio. I already left for the wedding. You were still sleeping, so I left a note on the table. Didn't you see it? What, a memo? Oh, I found it. Like it was written on the note, I'm going to be picking up your sister's daughter, Monica, then go to the wedding. Huh? Why'd you have to go through the trouble of taking care of my sister's daughter? Can't my sister just go to the wedding with Monica? Apparently, that's what they were planning at first, but apparently Monica started throwing a tantrum because she didn't like getting up early. But your sister has to get to the wedding on time, so... I see. Monica likes you, so my sister asked you for help? I get the situation now, but this is another reason why getting remarried when you already have children is such a hassle. Silvio, don't say things like that. It's rude to your niece Monica as well. Why not celebrate? It's your sister's wedding day after all. Yeah, yeah, I just said it. I didn't really mean it, you know. Make sure you're not late to the wedding, all right? Yep. As soon as Monica and I are finished preparing, we'll depart for the wedding. We'll see you there. Seriously, don't be late, all right? It's my sister's wedding. Hello, Lilia. I'm going to leave the house with your daughter and head to the wedding now. Oh, hi, Erica. Sorry I had to suddenly call you so early in the morning. My daughter Monica is very shy, but she seems to like you, so that's why I called. She started throwing a tantrum as soon as we got up. The only person I could think of that might be able to help was you, so... It's alright, don't worry about it. Today's a special day for you, so don't hesitate to tell me if there's anything you want me to do. Thanks, Erica. I wouldn't know what I would have done without you. All right, then. We'll see you at the wedding. Yep. Take care on your way, though. And take care of Monica for me. Yep. She's in safe hands with me. Um, Silvio... Uh did Monica and Erica arrive at the wedding venue yet? I haven't seen them, but my house is only a 50-minute train ride from here, and they should be here by now. What? I thought that Erica went to your room to give you Monica or something. She isn't there? I haven't seen her as well. No, she isn't. I thought that she would be coming here by train, so I texted her, but all my texts remain unread. I tried calling, too, of course, but she wouldn't answer. Did you hear anything from her? No, I didn't hear anything. What in the world is she doing? I told her specifically not to be late. She's probably taken some sort of detour or something. Ah, that woman. America? Are you still not at the wedding venue? It's a 50-minute train ride from my sister's house to the wedding venue, right? Shouldn't you already be here? Hello? Is anyone there? Did you get lost? Did you throw one out of battery so you can't reply or something? All the other relatives are already here and we're only waiting for you two. You've got my sister's daughter as well, so you're making everyone worried. Just hurry up, all right? Silvio, I heard that Erica got into an accident. Yeah, I just got a call from the police as well. Apparently, a car ignored the red light and was about to hit a child, and Erica jumped between her and the car. What? Is she alright? It seems the kid was safe, but Erica was injured. I told the person who called me to send Erica to the wedding as soon as she gets treatment for injuries. Huh? You told her to come back? But didn't she get hit by a car? I don't think she'll be able to come to the wedding anymore, Silvio. What are you talking about? Of course she can come to the wedding. Knowing Erica, she's probably just making a big deal out of this. Look at me, I sacrificed myself to save a child. I'm the hero, so don't mind if I come to the wedding. <laughs> Ganya Varen said it was impossible too for some reason. Would you believe it? 
What in the world is she doing right now? To think that she almost got your door in an accident. Even if it was only temporary, she was responsible for your daughter. As a guardian. And as her nephew. Silvio. But didn't Erica just save Monica? I don't get what you're trying to say right now. I'm trying to say that Erica is just making a big deal out of this. And now is refusing to come to the wedding because she thinks she's some sort of hero. But I'm not going to let that happen. I'm going to talk some sense into her and tell her to come to the wedding immediately. Um, but didn't you hear that she was taken away to a hospital? Of course, I'm worried about my daughter as well, but I'm also worried about your wife, Erica, who could have been seriously injured protecting my daughter. What do you mean she was protecting your daughter? If anything, she was endangering your daughter by walking off like that. But even if she was injured, the wedding of a family member is of utmost importance, so you have to come even then. Ugh, what is she thinking getting into an accident at such a happy day? Is she trying to ruin your wedding or something? I thought the two of you got along, but apparently not. Silvio, listen to me. What you're saying is nonsense. Your wife is not going to be able to make it to my wedding, and you're not going to tell her otherwise. In fact, you should go and visit her in the hospital yourself. Huh? Why would I do that? She's just exaggerating with the ambulance and stuff. Hold on, I'll, I'll tell her to come to the wedding with Monica immediately. What? Hold on. I said don't tell her anything strange. Hey, Erica! What do you think you're doing getting into an accident like that? Didn't I specifically tell you not to be late to my sister's wedding? Are you saying you're not going to be able to come just because you got into an accident saving a child? Wait, don't tell me that the money that was supposed to be my sister's wedding gift will be used for your hospitalization expenses, is it? Hospitalization expenses are a waste of money! Come to the wedding right now! Hey, Erica! Are you ignoring me or something? I'm not messing around, Erica. Do you intend on ruining my sister's wedding day or something? I said to come here immediately, now! Hey, Silvio. What in the world do you think you're doing? Huh? What is it, Lydia? Why well, do you sound so mad? What were those texts that you sent Erica? Don't you have any heart? Heck, it's not that you're only heartless, but you're an idiot as well. How the hell is she supposed to come to the wedding when she's just been hit by a car? I'd like to see you do it. What? You saw the text I sent Erica? How? What? Yes, I did. I have her smartphone, after all. Huh? Why do you have her smartphone? I'm at the hospital Erica was taken to right now. Luckily, or unluckily, depending on how you look at it, the hospital was only a five-minute walk from the wedding venue. So I came as soon as I heard what happened. You come here right now as well. Hold on, Lilia. Stop with the jokes. You can't just leave the wedding when you're the bride. The wedding is going to be cancelled if you're not there. Yes, I intend on cancelling the wedding. Don't you understand that there are more important things right now than my wedding? Are you seriously that dumb? Yeah, I know she got into an accident and all, but you shouldn't believe her. She's probably just exaggerating because she got a big head for saving some child. Just because she saved some child doesn't make you that she can just cancel her plans to go to the wedding. What do you mean she's exaggerating? But she's in front of me right now. Also... What do you mean when you say that she saved some child? Put simply, I'm just mad at her for causing such a mess on your wedding day. What is she thinking getting into an accident like this? She should have just minded her own business and tried not to be the hero or something. What did you just say? She should have just minded her own business? But if Erica hadn't jumped between her and the car, this would have been a lot more serious. Don't you get that? Ugh, that's not our problem. It doesn't change the fact that she still caused a huge commotion when she could have just stayed put and come to the wedding. 
Why, you... That's my daughter you're talking about. Huh? What? Yes. Did you seriously not get that until now, you dumbass? Uh, this is what you're trying to say, is that... If Erica hadn't jumped between the car and Monica, then Monica might have died. What? So the child that Erica saved from being run over by a car was Monica? Yes. Seriously? Have you not been reading my texts? Even a three-year-old would have understood. Erica was seriously injured because she saved my daughter from a car accident. Luckily, Erica is going to make a full recovery, but it's still a serious injury that calls for hospitalization. What? Seriously? So, she... I thought that Erica had wandered off without Monica and saved a random child trying to be a hero. Even if it wasn't my daughter, this would have still been extremely serious. And Erica isn't trying to be a hero. She is a hero. Besides, why in the world are you acting all surprised? I thought the police told you about what happened. Did they not tell you that the child she saved was Monica? Uh, now that I think about it, they might have said something of the sort. I guess I let my imagination take hold of me? Yeah, it looks like that. Oh, and by the way, do you know who the driver of the car that ran into them was? What? How the hell am I supposed to know that? How the hell do you know that in the first place? The police came to Erica's hospital room and explained the situation to me. Apparently, the person that ran over Erica was Francesca. What? Uh, which Francesca are you talking about? Because there are a lot of people named Francesca, you know? Your ex-girlfriend, Francesca. Seriously? You were cheating on your wife and seeing Francesca, weren't you? How the hell did you find out about that, you probably want to say? You see, the police checked Francesca's smartphone to see whether she had been texting while driving, and sure enough, she was. That's when they noticed that she was texting someone named Silvio, which also happened to be the name of the husband of the woman who just got into an accident. The police decided to ask me whether I knew anything about this, and obviously I didn't. That's how I found out. Oh, and I also have an idea as to what happened this morning, I think. I called Erica to take care of Monica for me, and so the two of you headed to the wedding venue separately. You were texting Francesca on your way here, right? That's probably why she didn't see the red light and almost ran into Monica in the first place. Ugh, it's not my fault. I didn't know she was driving. Maybe not directly. I know it's unrelated, but even if you weren't responsible for the accident, it doesn't change the fact that you were cheating on Erica. I'm not about to mess in your marital affairs, but I'm pretty sure Erica is going to divorce you. Anyways, while you were texting Francesca on your way to my wedding, she suddenly stopped texting you. But, judging by your personality, you probably got mad when she suddenly stopped replying. I don't need to tell you that she stopped replying because she was apprehended by the police, right? That bitch apparently tried to make a run for it. Anyways, you got mad that she stopped replying and soon after that found out that Erica got into an accident. And so you started letting out your anger on Erica and told her all that nonsense. But I had no idea Francesca was involved when I sent those texts to Erica. You have a smartphone and can view my chat with her, right? Could you delete those texts I sent her earlier? <laughs> Please, Lydia. I'm begging you as my brother. Sorry, but I am not about to cover up your stupidity for you, brother. Besides, don't you even feel guilty for what you did? I'm not going to let you get away, Silvio. It was your fault that Erica got seriously injured. If she hadn't jumped in front of that car, do you realize what might have happened to my daughter? I am not going to forgive you for this. I am going to make sure you pay for what you've done. But how should I have known Francesca would run into Erica? This is just an unfortunate series of events. I understand now that Erica wasn't just trying to be a hero, and I'm not mad at her anymore. No one's at fault here, Linnea. We should just move on with life and pretend nothing ever happened. 
Besides, Francesca shouldn't have been texting while driving. It's not my fault that she has no regard for traffic rules. Well, I guess it was extremely bad luck. I mean, if I hadn't called Erica over to my place to take care of Monica for me, or if Francesca didn't happen to be at that exact place at that exact time, nothing would have ever happened. Actually, no. You would have continued meeting with Francesca behind Erica's back, which isn't good, but that's not the point. The point is that you're trash, brother. Trying to get your wife to come to the wedding after she was just seriously injured saving my daughter? I've had enough of you. Bye. You'll get what you deserve later. But... God damn it. Hey, Erica! What's this lawyer you sent me? Are you serious? You're gonna divorce me? Why? I'm not gonna agree to this. I already broke up with Francesca, so why don't you just move on and forget about it? You women are so petty. I'm not gonna divorce you, and I'm not gonna pay an alimony. Erica! Erica, hey, reply to my text. You see, Francesca's husband is making me pay an alimony as well. And for some reason, I'm being made to take responsibility for the wedding's cancellation. And my sister is making me pay for part of the cancellation fee. It makes me sick thinking about how much money I'm going to have to come up with on my own. So please, don't divorce me so that at least I would have to pay you an alimony as well. Please, I don't want to divorce you. Let's pay for all of this together. Oh, that reminds me. Apparently, my sister is going to hold another wedding ceremony three months later. Why don't we make up by then and go to the wedding together? Don't you think it would be fun to surprise everyone by telling them that we actually made up? It would be so wholesome as well. Right, Erica? Don't you think that this is a great idea? Silvio? Erica! I knew you would come around. I know I said some awful things to you after you got in an accident on the day of the wedding, but I was just mad at the time. I deeply regret it now and I realize that you are, in fact, a true hero. I'm so proud of you and I think you're the most wonderful wife a guy could have. It's not that hard to understand, Silvio. You cheated on me, so we're getting divorced. Please contact my lawyer about this, not me. What? Your sister is typing these texts for me because I can't myself. She came to visit me in the hospital. Lilia, why are you visiting Erica? I'm only able to text right now because your sister is here. Didn't you hear that I broke my right arm and now it's in a cast? You've got some nerve ordering me to reply to your texts. Bah! I try to come visit you in the hospital, but they said that you were relocated. Um, the only reason they relocated me was because you tried to force your way through on the first try. Even though you were banned from seeing me. Uh... Besides, did you seriously think that you would be able to visit me, given the position you're in? Come on, Silvio, try to be a little more observant of what's going on around you. But... Please, contact my lawyer from now on. It wasn't my fault that you were run over by a car. How should I have known Francesca was driving? This is all her fault. I don't care. It doesn't change the fact that you were cheating on me. And that you also tried to make me come to the wedding even though I got into an accident. You disgust me, Silvio. I'm going to block this account now. What? Wait, don't block me! Erica, I still have more things I need to tell you! First, I had Francesca, Silvio's ex-girlfriend, pay me two alimonies. One for running into me on her car, and one for meeting Silvio behind my back. She was forced to go into debt because of this, and now works multiple jobs, apparently. Silvio, on the other hand, barged into the hospital near our house trying to look for me. He must have thought that I was there, but I saw this coming, so I had myself relocated to a hospital other than that one. He didn't expect this and caused a commotion at the hospital's front lobby. 
shouting at the staff to tell him where I am. Eventually, the police came to take him away. He was released, but not long after that, the two of us got divorced. Naturally, Sylvia's relatives cut ties with him after this incident. And it also seems that he had to pay money to the hospital as well for causing a commotion. Silvio's complained about not having any money, and so he took on massive amounts of debt, not knowing that he would only have to pay more in the future. Honestly, I don't know why I married this man. He has both the mental capacity and the emotional capacity of a three-year-old. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. See you next time.